We all loved Panama, but it was time to move on to our next stop, Guatemala. Moving from one place to the next can get confusing because it is normal for us to have several different job sites in each city. For example, when we stayed in Chiriqui Grande, we had job sites called Nueva Estrella, Molejones, Norteno Clinica, Norteno Escuela, and Higueron. Since most of us can only pretend to speak Spanish, we resort to nicknames. Sergeant Workman calls this place Dirt City. <laughs> Dirt City is near Jutiapa in Guatemala. This was a place that could really use some help, but didn't get it. The only thing we did here was donate the material for them to build a chain link fence. Later, we came back to hand out some toys. Even though they deserved much more than they got, the thank you we received was overwhelming. You're very welcome. De nada. De nada. Can you hula hoop? No, I can't. Ellos quieren hacer la muestra. Go ahead. Go. You may be watching this and asking yourself, why are American soldiers handing out hula hoops when there's a war going on? Which would make me ask, why is there a war going on when there are kids in this world with no hula hoops? Why isn't it every American soldier's job to make children on this planet happy? Seems to me that handing out hula hoops goes a long way towards making friends, when dropping bombs goes a long way towards making enemies. So the more hula hoops given out, the less people we will have to fight, which will let us spend more time helping. Maybe someday our planet will be at peace. It's not likely to come from something as simple as a plastic hoop, but it's even less likely to come from the barrel of a gun. What we need to focus on is as simple as children at a playground. We just need to make friends. <laughs>